Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha Firstly, brothers, I advise myself as I advise everyone here to fear Allah Jalla wa'ala openly in front of the people and secretly behind closed doors where nobody sees you except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And inshallah ta'ala today we want to discuss a foundation from the foundational beliefs of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And it may sound simple, but it's a reminder for myself and for all of the brothers that from the foundational beliefs of the people of the Sunnah is belief in Yom al Akhir, that it's the last day. To believe that there is a last day, Yom al Qiyamah, where every person will be held accountable for each and everything they did, from the good and from the bad. Is a simple topic, basic from the foundations. Usually in the books it says the articles of faith. From the articles of faith. When Jibril alayhi salam came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam in the hadith of Jibril. In Jibril alayhi salam he said, when he came in the form of a man and he said to the Prophet alayhi salatu wasallam, فَأَخْبِرْنِي عَلَى الْإِيمَانِ He said, inform me, tell me, to the Prophet ﷺ, tell me what is Iman, what is faith, what is belief? And the Prophet ﷺ, the answer of what is Iman is given by the Prophet ﷺ. He says, Al Iman and Tu'mina Billah, to believe in Allah wa Malaikatihi, and to believe in His angels wa Kutubihi, and to believe in Allah's books that He revealed wa bi Yom Al Akhir. And to believe in the last day. I'm sorry, to believe in his messengers. Or Rusuli, to believe in the messengers. That's four. And number five, he said to believe in the last day. And then he said to believe in the Qadr. Khayri wa Sharri. To believe in the Qadr, the predestinated, the good and the bad. Everything happens by the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fifth one he mentioned is to believe in Yom al Akhir. It's the last day, brothers, that we all going to stand before Allah and we're all going to be held accountable for every single action that we do. The ones that we all see each other doing in the masjid and the actions that we do when we're in our cars and in our houses with our wives and when we're by ourselves alone. Everyone is going to have to stand before Allah 
an answer for every single action. There are many explanations for this hadith. One of the explanations says that this is the Rukhn al Khamis, who are Rukhn al Khamis al Iman al Yom al Akhir. The fifth uh, foundation or the fifth pillar of Iman is to believe that there's a last day. The Muslim has to believe there's a last day. But the question is, how do you, how does the Muslim, how does the Muslim actualize and bring into reality his belief in the last day, Yom al Qiyamah? He says, وَتَحْقِيقِ هَذَا الرُّكْنِ يَكُونَ بِأَنْ يُوْكَنَ هَذَا الْعَبْدِ وَيُؤْمِنَ بِغَيْرِ الشَّكْ He says, this is established in every person. Every person establishes this pillar, your belief in this pillar, that you believe with certainty, with no doubt. You have to believe in, with certainty and no doubt that there's a last day. You have to believe this. This is from the pillars that the Prophet said, this is Iman. From the six articles of faith is you have to believe without any doubt there's going to be a day everyone is going to be brought back to life and everyone is going to be held accountable for their sins. You have to believe this. The days are real. It's real. This is a real day. And Allah mentions it throughout the Quran. This is a real day. It's serious. So he goes on he says a person believes with no doubt that he's going to be returned, and he's going to be brought back up, and he's going to have the answer for his sins. He says, وَأَنَّ كُلَّ إِنْسَانِ مَجْزِيٌّ بِمَا فَعَلٍ And every person is going to be rewarded for what he did. Every person is going to be rewarded for exactly what you did. لِأَنَّ الْأَمْرُ لَيْسَ مُنْتَهِيًا بِالْمَوْتِ Because it's not over once we die. It's not like once you die, خلاص. He was a good guy. Mashi. It's not over once you die. It's tough still remaining in the grave starting right at the grave when the people walk off it's stuff after we die and then he says there's going to be a day on that day when the person who was oppressed he's going to get his revenge on the person who oppressed him the person who was oppressed on that day he's going to get his revenge when the person who oppressed him, it could have been with money, it could have been with his tongue, it could have been with a lot of things. Vum, oppression. On that day, the person who was oppressed, he's gonna get his he's gonna get his right back. He's gonna get his hakwe set. He says, and everybody, you has to be nas ala amalian. And everybody is gonna be held accountable for their actions. And this is the point of the khutbah. Everybody's responsible for their own selves. Everybody is responsible for their own selves. I'm not responsible for what the brother put on the internet. And you're not responsible for what the brother put on the internet. You're responsible for what you put on the internet. I'm not responsible for the text message he sent, and neither are you. He's responsible for that, and you're responsible for the text message that you sent. Everybody is responsible for their own actions. Simple. It's simple. And why do we bring this? Because there's a day as Allah says in this ayat, if you miss all of that, listen to this ayat. If you missed everything I just said, listen to what Allah said in this ayat. Qala ta'ala Wa kulla insan alzamnahu ta'irahu fi unuki wa nukhriju lahu yawm al-qiyamati kitaban yalqahu man shura iqra kitabak kafa bi nafsika al-yawm alayka hasiba Allah says Every person, kullu insan, kullu insan, every person, alzamnahu ta'irahu fi unuki. He said we're going to fasten to his neck all of his deeds. Fasten on his neck. Every single person has their own deeds that's going to be fastened to their neck. He says, no yom qiyamah, those deeds are going to come out in the form of a book. Everything is there, laid out. The book is going to be brought forth. Open. 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 Read your own book. You are enough as a witness on your own self on that day. It's going to be enough that you see your own actions and hold yourself accountable. And this is why Umar, Ibn al-Khattab, he used to say, 
Hold yourself accountable now before you're held accountable. Take account of yourself now before you're held accountable, Yom Kiyama. Because there's no coming back. There's no coming back. When the angel comes, there's no coming back. Omar, radiallahu anhu, as severe, and all the stories we read about Omar, how serious he was. He used to tell the people, hold yourself accountable now before you're held accountable. Imam Sa'ad, he said about the ayat, he said, this ayat shows the completeness that Allah is just. This shows the completeness. And Allah is just how he's just. He doesn't oppress anybody. No one is oppressed. There's never brahi. There's never a time we should be saying, why did Allah do this? Why me? The belief of the Muslim, he knows everything is from by the decree of Allah. Whether you see it to be good or you don't see it to be good. Allah doesn't oppress anyone. He said, this shows the completeness of Allah's justness. And that kullu insan yalzamuhu ta'irahu fi unuk. Eh? His actions. Ma'amila min khayna wa shakr. All of your actions are going to be stuck on you, for lack of better words. Everything you do that the people see from khayna, mashallah. And everything you do that the people don't see. Is going to be stuck on each individual. Imam Sa'adi says, Yaj'alahu Allah mulazim lahu. It's like Allah just stuck it on me. It can't move. It won't go on off to anybody else. He says, His actions are not going to like, you know, fall off on the next brother next to him. Everything is going to be stuck on each individual. And the same thing. Therefore, He's not going to be held accountable for somebody else's actions. Just like they're not going to be held accountable for your actions. A real day that we don't see in front of us but as Muslims, we have to believe that it exists, and this is the reality of it. The reality of it is going to come a day and we're going to have all of our actions fastened to us, and they won't go to anybody else, and there's going to be nobody to blame. Even Shaitan is going to say, don't blame me on that day. As Allah says in Surah Ibrahim, Shaitan is going to say, don't blame me. There's going to be nobody to blame. Everyone is responsible for their own selves. Then Allah says about bringing the book out. Ibn Kathir said, He says, Allah is going to gather all of his deeds as if it's in one book and give it to him. He's going to be given his book. And the person, he says, the person who's given his book in his right hand, this is a good sign. He's like we say, uh, this is a good sign. And the person who's given his book in his left hand, it's a bad sign. Wretched individual. Doomed. And not just that, Allah goes on, He says, He's just, Ikra kitabik. And Asad points, I advise everyone to strive your hardest to try to learn the, the language of Arabic because the ayat in Arabic are a lot more clear. There's nothing to be misconstrued about it. Ikra kitabik. Read your book. Not his book or her. Read your own book. Read the stuff that you did. That everybody saw and the stuff that everybody didn't see. Read your book. Allah says, It's enough that you're a witness. You hold yourself accountable today. Imam Sa'adi said, He said, This is from the greatest forms of justice. And you call it Hasib Nafsik. That is said to a person, You read your own book. Somebody might come and try to read your book and maybe change something, try to. It wasn't his fault. Everybody's worried about themselves. Read your own book. He said, this is the sign, this is a, a point to show you the greatness of Allah's justness. Nobody will be oppressed. He says, So that the person will see when he reads his book that everything he's going to get, that he's deserving of it. He can admit, I did that. Everybody know what they did. I did that. And you deserve of that punishment. Yom Qiyam. Everybody knows what they do. And when he reads his own book, it's going to be clear to him. So he knows exactly what he did. Huh? Sometimes you remember something you did from 20 years ago like it was yesterday. Now, he's going to be reading from the book. So that, that he can uh, admit to the sin that he did. And what he's deserving of it from punishment. So he has a lot of protectors. Yom Qiyam.
I mean, the seriousness of Yom Kiyam Achi is that we're living in a time where we talk a lot, we text a lot, we type a lot, we post a lot. Huh? But it's a Yom, Yom Kiyam, and you're responsible for everything that you say out of your mouth. Everything. Everything that we say out of our mouths are responsible for Yom Kiyam. I'm not responsible for the brother. And you're not responsible for him. You're responsible for yourself. Allah said, All you who believe, save yourself. He didn't even say your family self first. Save yourself and your families from the fire. Everybody is responsible for themselves. What you put on the internet, and what you type, and what you text. What you said to the brother, what you said to the... We're responsible for our own actions. Allah said on this day, Yom Kiyama, another description of what's going to happen on Yom Kiyama. Yom yafiru al-mar'u min akhi wa ummihi wa abihi wa sahibatihi wa bani. He said on Yom Kiyama, the person is going to be fleeing and running from the most, the people he loved the most. He's going to be running from his own brother and from his mother well, and from his father, and from his mother, and from his wife, and from even from his children. He doesn't want to have anything to do with anybody. Why? Allah says that. Everybody is busy with their own selves on that day. Not like today. Right now, we're all over the place. All over the medias. All of them, whatever they are. We're all over but on that day, everybody's ready, worried about their own selves. It says in the tafsir, He's busy with himself now. Now he's busy with himself. He's not worried about Fulan and this one and that one and what he said. He's not worried about anybody except himself on that day. We have to prepare. Well, why? We have to prepare, prepare for that day so we don't end up in a bad situation. We have to prepare. It's not enough that we look Muslim. We have Muslim names, or people think we're good people. 